Daredevil! He's pretty much the greatest, right? Oh, I should probably introduce this. This is a Talking Comics Weekly bonus video featuring some more good stuff you might enjoy if you liked today's adventure or just want to learn more about Ol' Hornhead. Daredevil is one of those characters who seem to bring out the best in a lot of the creators who work on them, and as a result, he has a lengthy list of classic runs. But you can't go wrong with any of these. Daredevil by Frank Miller. This was the run that set the standard. It introduced and, uh, D introduced the character of Elektra. And it's where a lot of the comic book world met and fell in love with Frank Miller, who was working at the height of his powers during this era. A classic. Daredevil Born Again is another essential, largely for the incredible art by David Mazzuccelli, which recently earned this storyline a place in the IDW Artist Edition series. Those beautiful, enormous hardcovers that reprint comic book stories from the original artist's pages at their original size and in color so you can see every blue pencil mark and streak of white out. Are you drooling? yet, you should be drooling. Daredevil Yellow is the Matt Murdock entry into the wonderful series of standalones from Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale that also includes Hulk Grey and Spider-Man Blue. Loeb and Sale, who are also responsible for books like Batman The Long Halloween and Catwoman When in Rome, make one of the best teams in modern comics. Speaking of modern comics, three more must-mention runs on Daredevil. The Kevin Smith Marvel Knights era, which I'm pretty sure was objectively awesome, but which I can't be impartial about because because they blew my mind back in high school. And you never forget your first devil? Major fantastic runs by both Brian Michael Bendis and Ed Brubaker that put Matt through more misery than anyone should see in 10 lifetimes. And of course, the recently concluded run by Mark Wade, which rescued Daredevil a little from all that doom and gloom, creating a comic that's still serious, but also incredibly fun to read. Oh, and he's getting a freaking live action series on Netflix that will be run by Drew Goddard from Buffy, Lost, and Cabin in the Woods. It's good to be Daredevil. Actually, it's horrible to be Daredevil, but it's great to be a Daredevil fan. Favorites and least favorites and nostalgia for the yellow costume should all go in the comments, please, along with any and all words of praise for Foggy Nelson. Because Daredevil may be the greatest, but he's nothing without Foggy. And we just don't say it enough. So here's to you, Foggy. And may we all survive this move to San Francisco without making the obvious joke every five seconds for the next six months. <laughs> because Fog.